Residents of Sudza in Kursk region have complained to the acting governor about the lack of shelters in the area, according to Russian telegram channels. Complaints have flooded the social media of the acting governor of the Kursk region, Alexei Smirnov, following yesterday's massive shelling of Sudza, allegedly by Ukrainian forces. One resident's comment, cited by the Brief channel, read, When will you set up shelters? How long will you torment people? Users have also insisted on the need for concrete shelters, noting the large number of people at bus stops. In response, the Kursk region government stated that there are designated areas in the region where residents can seek refuge during attacks. Of course, there are shelters. All information about them has been published on official resources, said Yulia Abramova, head of the regional government's press office. Meanwhile, the regional head announced that all emergency services in the Kursk region have been placed on heightened alert and that medical facilities are increasing their supplies of donor blood. Recently, Russian sources claimed that Ukrainian forces conducted a series of cross-border raids into Kursk Oblast. According to these claims, Ukrainian forces were advancing towards Russian positions near Nikolaevo Darino, and Oleshnia in Kursk Oblast, located northwest of the Ukrainian city of Sumy and along the Russian-Ukrainian frontier. Russian military bloggers further claimed that Ukrainian forces had attacked from two different directions, one from the Sudza checkpoint and another from the village of Nov in Ukrainian's Sumy Oblast, moving towards Nikolaevo Darino in Russia's Kursk Oblast. The Russian Ministry of Defense asserted that Russian reserve units had responded to the Ukrainian assaults and an insider source indicated that elements of the Chechen Special Forces Unit, Akhmat, were also involved in repelling the attacks. Following the shelling of Sudza, Russians have reported alleged attempts by Ukrainian forces to break through. It was reported that around 90% of residents had evacuated from four settlements in the Sudza district. In response to the situation, Russia has redeployed reserves to the border area where Ukrainian forces were reportedly attempting a breakthrough.